Eddie Liu, ah. Ingrid French Management. Worse than what Odysseus has done to my honor when he abandoned me here on the way to Troy. The battlefield I was born to make my name at, the battlefield I have never seen. But worse than that is this monster he's made me into by my own hands. There are no trees on the island of Christ. There is no relief from the sun. And so at first I could not sleep in the daytime. But now I am tired of dreaming and I want to die. I thought that after all this time, after these numberless years of me wasting my life to this island, without another human sound but my own, I thought that in that time I would have touched on every memory within my mind's reach. Several times at least. But now other things surface. This island seems to fold up on itself. And then unfold. It breathes, it contracts and expands. It has become the measure of the realness of all other things. The memories from my last life have bent themselves to its pull, have become heavy and unwieldy in its presence, have sprouted mutated versions of themselves into the soil here. I hear echoes. I hear echoes of echoes, I suppose, of things that have once happened here. I would give almost anything I have to reverse the course of my life in the last year. The past hasn't changed for anyone, but at least I can learn from the past. I've learned a lot about life. I've learned a lot about myself and about the responsibilities any man has to his fellow man. I've learned a lot about good and evil. They're not always what they appear to be. I was involved, deeply involved in a deception I deceived my friends, and I have millions of them. I lied to the American people. I lied about what I knew, and then I lied about what I did not know. In, in a sense, I was like a child who refuses to admit a fact in the hopes that it will go away. Of course, it didn't go away. I was scared, scared to death. I had no strong position, no basis for myself to stand on. There was only one way out, and that was simply to tell the truth. You might find this very trite, but I found myself again after a number of years. I've been acting a role, maybe all my life, of thinking that I've done more, accomplished more, produced more than I have. I've had all the breaks. I've stood on the shoulders of life. I've never gotten down in, in the dirt to build or erect a foundation of my own. I've flown on the shoulders. <laughs> Everything came too easy. I've flown too high on borrowed wings, and uh, that's why I'm here today.